What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But, today is currently the last summer day, it is uh, like a bit, it's not the greatest day outside right now. But anyway, I'm going to make the most out of the day, probably go outside, play hockey or something like that. Maybe even go in the pool, hot tub, all the things that... I can do for today, but probably not tomorrow, although I probably won't have a lot of homework tomorrow anyway. But anyway, I'm about to go downstairs, have some lunch, which I, we have leftover pizza from a couple nights ago, and have some fries from a couple nights ago as well. And anyway, I guess I will see you guys later. It's currently now 2.08, and um... I'm about to go outside play hockey with John. I'm going to go in net. So that should be fun. I haven't gone in net in a, a while now. But anyway, today is the last day of my journal. So uh, in my journal, I have been writing since June 25th which was the first day that I wrote. So 06-25-19 was the first time I wrote in my journal. Summer of 19 has been well documented from these videos and writing stuff down. Summer of 19 has probably been my favorite summer so far. Which is kind of crazy that it's almost coming to an end, but all of these pages are filled. Some of them have pictures, most of them actually do, and which I kind of like. This book has shown my creativity, and I'm glad I was able to do this. And now, so we go from June to July, and then we go into Newfoundland, and we're in Newfoundland from the 23rd of July to August 13th, which is another month that I wrote right in. So now we go from June, which is 06, to July, which is 07, to August, which is 08, and we're still in Newfoundland, which Newfoundland was an amazing time. And, and then we come home from Newfoundland on the uh, 13th, which is leaving the rock and I have a bunch of pictures up until the 17th so that's what I have to do draw a bunch of pictures and uh, then we have like things like John's birthday me getting into Rogers my baseball back to work and uh, like celebrating my friend's birthday and there's so much stuff like that I've just documented and then we go into September which is 09 which now this has been four different months that I have written in which is kind of crazy and this was yesterday and this page is the final page I will probably take up two pages just to explain about what a great summer it was. I have a bunch of pages left, but anyway, summer 19 was an amazing summer, but anyway, I'll see you guys outside. So, I just got outside right now, and it is like more or less fallish weather out here, but you can still wear shorts. It's like 19 degrees outside, but I'm about to go in that, like I said earlier, and uh, it is actually beautiful out here, minus like, the, the, there's like clouds like we got like a bit of an overcast but it is perfect weather to play outside it's not too warm or not too hot but it's not too cold it's warm with a breeze so it's actually lovely out here it's like Newfoundland weather kind of but anyway I'm about to go in net so I'll catch you guys after I'm in net. So it is now later it is currently 5 13 and my mother just got home not too long ago and uh anyway i don't know what i'll be doing tonight probably tell you all about my journal and wrapping that up and i have plans with this canvas and uh, i know it's a bit messed up 
But I think I'm going to do uh, something similar with my journal. It's going to be something about summer of 19. So I think I'm going to put all my pictures on here that I took. And mostly pictures from Newfoundland and stuff like that. But anyway, that should be interesting. So I might do that. Not, I know I can't do that today. I'll eventually get to that. But anyway, I'm probably gonna, just going to go downstairs, watch Murdoch or something like that until dinner. So I'll catch you guys probably after dinner. So it is now later. It is currently 7.47 and it is getting darker outside. But right now I'm currently watching Murdoch, about to have some popcorn. And I'm about to go downstairs, write my journal while I'm watching Murdoch. Just because, so I can get the journal done, so that I can read and talk to you guys about it. And then I'll edit the video later tonight. Just because I can't go to sleep as late as usual. And I, you guys know that I usually write my journal at like 12. Anyway. But I'll, I'll be asleep by then. I'm going to sleep for about 11 tonight. Just because tomorrow I have to wake up at 6.30 and I'm not really used to that. I'm really used to going to sleep around like 1-ish, and then 1 2, and then waking up at like 11 a.m. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening now, so, which it's like a big change until the weekend, hopefully. Uh, I don't know. I'm not ready for this, but it should be interesting tomorrow. Anyway, I'm about to go write my journal, so I'll catch you guys when... The last part of the journal is complete. So, I have written the last thing in my journal for the summer. So, summer 19, summer of 19 has come to an end. My journal is complete. And if we go all the way to the end, I called it end of summer 19. And like I said... It was going to take up two pages, and it ended up taking two pages. So, this journal was probably one of the greatest ideas that I've had so far. Anyway, let me throw it back to June 25th. So, on this day, I went over to my friend's house, and we, we hung out, and we were just having fun. And we were playing MLB, and then we went to a Thai restaurant, and then we came back and played NHL. And then my father and I went to the Old Village Free House for dinner. And then I watched Murdoch, and that was the start of my summer. The next one was about verdict about my finger, and this is where I found out about my finger. And so I went to the finger doctor appointment, and he said it would be another two weeks. And I came home, had my leftover Thai food, and I called Spichelle and told them about my situation. And this was day two. Then, I went to go get my G1, and uh, we also went over to uh, uh, Hempen's Jewelers to get my mother a birthday gift. And so, I came home and made grilled cheese, and then I went to go get my G1, and I passed. This was day three. Next was the next day, which was the 28th, and it was party at my uncle's house. And so we went down, and uh, we had a school's out lunch, and I got a Baconator with fries. And then we went over to my uncle's house later with my aunt and uh, my parents, and we were there. We had potato salad, and life was good. That was day four. And then we had the first swim in the summer because our pool was closed. And so this was the 29th. And so we went in the pool. I watched Murdoch. And we were playing basketball, volleyball, and baseball in the pool. And then I had dinner and watched Murdoch later. And that was day five. Then the next day, we were off to Buffalo. So I woke up at 6 a.m. off to Buffalo. We stopped at Tim Hortons on our way. And then we arrived in Buffalo and we went to the Buffalo Bisons Park. And they played the Syracuse Mets but lost 10-4. to And one of their players hit three dingers, which was crazy. And then later, I got oysters and clams. And that was day six. 
Then the next day was Canada Day 2019 and we woke up at 7 a.m. because we had to come back home and then we had hotel breakfast and we came home and we prepared for So my aunt came over and we had a bunch of friends over and we jumped in the pool and we had hamburgers for dinner. And then we went over to see the fireworks and there's buddy behind us was setting off fireworks and my dad went over to well, tell him about it, but more than that. And that was day number seven. The next day was a day at the movies, and my friend asked me if I wanted to see a movie. I said, yeah. And we went over to see Toy Story 4, which was an amazing movie. And we came back, and I watched Murdoch, and uh, I we had chicken salad, chicken Caesar salad for dinner. And it was uh, it was amazing. And that was day number eight. The next day, I was off to the dentist, and I had to um, get, uh, well, John was off to the dentist, and uh, I went to the dentist as well to get, he was off to the orthodontist, but I went to get to the dentist to get fillings, and then I came home and watched Murdoch, and that was day number nine. The next day was the fourth and this was when I went to the Apple store to get a new iPad and I also um, I had a uh, baseball game to watch I, I watched because my finger was still broken and that was day 10. The next day John and I went to go see Spider-Man Far From Home with our friend and then we came home had uh, watched Murdoch and that was day 11. The next day was my mother took me out for to drive and uh, as usual I came back and watched Murdoch and then we went to the Twisted Fork and that was day 12. The next day John and I went to Max Milk to go get slushies and I got an amazing slushie and I'm glad I wrote this one down because I'm going to look back at this and probably order the same slushie again and that was day 13. The next day was the 8th and this was the day that I could finally be back and using my finger. So I came home and played hockey with John and we had dinner, we had chicken Caesar salad and uh, then we also went in the pool, and that was day 14. The next day was the 9th, and I made a cheese croissant and watched Murdoch, and I went in the water and played water hockey and basketball and keep it up. And it was 28 degrees outside, so the pool was super refreshing, and that was day 15. The next day was I was able to play baseball and so I played baseball in 31 degree weather and we also went in the pool and then after we went to Dairy Queen and got a dipped cone and that was day 16. The next day was the power of nature and I made pizza bagels and uh, then we had drumsticks for dinner and vegetables and it did not rain, so I had a baseball game, but it was supposed to rain, and that was day 17. The next day was the 12th, and this is when we had people coming over and just to have like a little bit of a party. And we had a very fun party, and that was day 18. The next day was the 13th, and this was when... My parents were packing for Nashville, so I really didn't do much that day, but that was day 19. The next day was my baseball game, and I got hit in the collarbone, and that's why it's titled Not Again, and that was day 20. The next day was a very nice day, and we were just chilling out. I woke up at 12.17, and... I went upstairs and played Minecraft, and that was day 21. The next day was my parents came home from Nashville, and John and I were just playing Minecraft again on their server, and that was day 22. The next day was the 19th, and we went out for muscles over to the, uh, the Twisted Fork, and then there was four days to Newfoundland, and that was day 23. The next day 
was where's my car and which this day was where I supposed to have baseball practice but it got cancelled just because it was too warm and we went outside and played baseball John and I did and it was great and that was day 24 the next day was another nice day outside and I had a baseball game we lost 17 to 8 and I and I we were having fun this was my double header and that was day 25 the next day was that it was time to get to Newfoundland we were packing our bags and getting ready for Newfoundland that was the whole time we did that day and that was day 25 the next day we arrived in Newfoundland and we had a layover in Gander and I was so happy we arrived in St. John's later and then we went off to Northern Bay and that was day 27. The next day we were in Northern Bay and we went on for the Gull Island Boardwalk and we had so much fun that day and we had hamburgers and salad for dinner and that was day 28. The next day was whale watching, we were watching whales and there were so many whales we went to the Western Bay Lighthouse. And the sightseeing there was amazing, and that was day 29. The next day, we went off to Beta Verde, and what an amazing adventure that was. And that was day 30. The next day, we were in Northern Bay Sands, and we went on our boogie boards, and that was day 31. The next day was we were out fishing in Clarenville. What an amazing day that was. That was day 32. The next day we were fishing again and we saw a bunch of bald eagles. They were amazing. That was day 33. The next day was we were off in the great big sea but we weren't able to fish that day just because the food fishery was closed. And we saw a bunch of bald eagles again and a muskrat and that was day 34. The next day we were off to old Rocky Harbor. We were off to Rocky Harbor. And this was the West Coast, the start of the West Coast. What an amazing adventure that was. That was day 35. The next day, we were off to Western Brook Pond to see the fjords. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm glad I was able to do that. That was day 36. The next day, we were off to Lanson Meadows. And I figured out that I'm kind of a Viking, which was kind of crazy, and that was day 37. The next day, we were off to Bombay, which was like the conclusion of our western trip, the west coast trip, and we were just hanging low in Bombay, just having a fun time after we left Raleigh. That was day 38. The next day, we were off on the road back to Clarenville. That was day 39. The next day, I was felt a little bit cold. We were watching Deadpool, and I was just not feeling myself. That was day 40. The next day, we were back into Northern Bay for a little bit to try and see our cousin Arthur. He didn't end up showing up. That was day 41. The next day was the 201st Regatta. What an amazing event that was. That was day 42. And now, we were downtown excursion in Newfoundland. I was visiting my nanny again. That was day 43. The next time we were out with my cousin Joe taking pictures for the telegram. He said my picture might be in the newspaper and I was excited. That was day 44. The next day we were back in Northern Bay for a day. We were up to Hogan's and that was day 45. The next day, John and I were wave jumping at Northern Bay Sands, and we had to end up leaving Northern Bay Sands later that day to go back into St. John's, but that was day 46. The next day, we were off to Moo Moo's because that was our last full day in Newfoundland. That was day 47. The next day, we were leaving the rock. What a sad day that was. That was day 48. The next day, I was getting back into the swing of things. I was had a baseball game later practice later that night that was day 49 the next day was i was off to driving and that was day 50 the next day we had tacos on friday what an amazing time that was that was day 51 the next day we we're off to our friend's house just having a good party there that was day 52 the next day, it was uh, raining a little bit, 
and it, it, my game got rained out, which is sad, but I ended up playing Minecraft, and that was day 53. The next day was when we had our game, and we were just having a fun time. My teammates' friends came around, and that was day 54. The next day, I was off catching up with my friend, and we were just hanging out, and that was day 55. And now it's the 21st, and I I tried to call my gym at Rogers, but he didn't answer, and that was day 56. The next day, sh my friend asked me to go golfing, and I did, and that was day 57. Now, this was John's B big birthday. It was his 15th birthday. I also had my interview with Rogers, and I ended up getting the position, which was crazy, and that was day 58. The next day, I was back to work, and we had a Camp Ashworth again, and that was day 59. The next day was we had a gigantic win, and which was amazing, and that was day 60. Now, the next day, I was gunned down at second, and I threw a guy out from right field at second, which was crazy, and that was day 61. The next day, we celebrated our fr my friend's birthday, both of them, and that was day 62. The next day, I was hanging out with my friends, which was the 28th, and that was such a fun day. And what an amazing day that was. That was day 63. The next day was just a day of leisure, and I was just playing Minecraft, Murdoch, had craft dinner. That was day 64. The next day, we were off to Keswick again, and which was a very fun time. We went to go see Rogers. We were off to the Old Village free house, and that was day 65. The next day, John and I played baseball on the farm, and what a fun time that was. That was day 66. The next day, we had fun with fireworks. That was so much fun. That was fireworks on the Labor Day long weekend. That was day 67. The next day, John and I played tennis at Persicini, and that was day 68. Now we conclude on the 3rd of... September and I look back on this whole summer and I think to myself what an amazing experience this was and that was day 68 all right guys on that note I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video so I'd basically like to thank you guys so much for watching and I do hope you guys enjoyed and if you like to watch another video guys be subscribed to my youtube channel turn on my post notifications and smash that like button smash Stay savage mind. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.